Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grinding back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover round one predictions for the new Storm and Dr. Octopus arenas. So the first thing I always like to do is kind of categorize how do I think these new arenas stack up to previous arenas and so far even though we have the new five star arena structure, things are playing out kind of like with the feature champions results for new champs versus old champs and then when it comes to the four star basic arena we still have that low interest medium interest so far we've only had low interest and medium interest champs or mid interest champs we haven't had any basic champs that gone up to like a high level I, I guess we'll have to wait for blade i'm sure when blade comes in as the four star basic champ there'll still be a ton of people going after him then but we'll have to wait a little uh, uh, I think it's still a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months until he comes in. But anyway, until then, it's been pretty much low interest and mid interest champs. So anyway, with that being said, um, shouldn't be a big shocker how I categorize these. Storm obviously is an old champ. She's been in the game, I think, since the beginning or pretty close to that. Um, definitely an old champ, even though she has some de de decent utility and is a decent champ overall. But then when it comes to Dr. Octopus, I think this is since it is his first time in the, in the four-star basic arena, I think he'll be like one of those mid-interest champs similar to what we saw with Hela and Thor Ragnarok not too long ago. Um, with that being said, again, I don't have a, we don't have a, uh, a long track record of uh, past results in the new arena, but we do have one very similar um, to this setup when we look at the Thor, um, Jane Foster, and Hela arena results. And when you can see here on uh, round one, Thor Jane Foster went for 15.9 as the five-star feature champ. The, her cutoff and her cutoff for the four-star feature was at 5.1 million. We jump over to Hela. She went at a very predictable 3.5 uh, million for a mid-interest champ. And lastly, for the three-star feature, Jane Foster, she went at 655,000. When we look at round two, I think what's interesting is the biggest change is you see the big jump for the five-star feature arena all the way from 15 to 20 million. I think folks were like, oh, I can get a five-star champ for over 20 million. And, and folks who, you know, when there's only 150 of them given away and there's folks with plenty of... Uh, of deep rosters that can go through a bunch of five stars they probably could get to that without burning a lot of units so i think that's what we saw here um with the four star feature it went a very similar 5.6 million hella again a very predictable second round of 3.5 million and lastly when we look at the three star feature jane foster she went for a very similar um, number around six hundred and seventy six thousand so this so this kind of does set a good framework for what we can think about for round one of the uh, storm and dr octopus arenas but just you know as what i like to typically do for round one is not just base it solely on past results especially since we don't have a bunch of results yet especially not anything to be considered statistically significant so uh, i always like to ask the community to get your opinion on what you think will happen for round one and starting first with the four star basic dr octopus you can see well first of all 321 folks voted thank you very much for those who took the time to vote um and as i won't say an even split but there wasn't a, a strong majority out of all of this three to three point five was the highest but only at 45 percent so not even half of the uh, community but then you have 3 to point, 3.5 to 4 million to go 36 um, percent. So there was a good, I won't call it an even split, but but a good decent split of all the, uh, the, the folks, you know, opinions on where they think this cutoff will go. For, there was 19 percent that went for 4 million. But again, that was a minority considered uh, compared to the rest of the uh, the options there. So when we look at a couple of folks who took the time to go into the comment section and provide why they voted that way. First, we go with Theo, who said all of the mid-interest champs seem to live at this range. Very good point, as we saw with Hella since the five-star feature arena was introduced i like it a manageable grind for a champ while still being able to shunt hard or sorry shard hunt elsewhere too everybody wins and this is a very good point though and i completely agree with him i like how the new arena structure is kind of spreading out the cutoffs allowing it to easier access to shards shard tiers as well as going after um mid interest or i should say any of the basic champs so far it has been too bad that may change when blade comes around but uh we'll have to wait till we get there and then you got the man moses 
Moses, who says, I'm hoping he stays around three million, but I think he will go around four. He's just better than the last couple basic arena champs. So his point is because Dr. Octopus is better or has more utility than Hela and Thor Ragnarok, that he'll go higher. While I completely agree with him on Thor Ragnarok, not so sure about Hela. I think some people would argue that Hela is better than Dr. Octopus or vice versa, but I think it's closer than the man Moses kind of relays here. So I think if, if Hela can go for 3.5, I think we can see Dr. Octopus go closer in that same range. Now, when we look at the four-star feature Storm Arena, a lot of folks, again, not a clean majority. Well, first of all, 206 and 267 of you voted. Thank you very much for taking the time to do so. Um, but again, not a, a majority one way or the other. The biggest, as you can see here, was less than 5 million, almost 50%, almost uh, a majority. But t typically, if you a strong majority has to go over 60%, but nowhere close to that. And you got 5 to 6 million at 32%. Again, so you have a couple options that, you know, most of the community are going one way or the other. And um, if you look at S S Sylvia, S, S, sorry, S Sylvia, um, five to six million old champion, but s people still want five star shards, so I think it'll be like 5.5. And I think that's a good point. Um, people going after shards um, will, will want to go potentially push this a little bit higher, um, getting all the, like, I think it's 800 five star shards coming through all of this. So a um, little bit better lift than what you can get if you went to some of the shard tiers. So agree with Sylvia on that one and then Rem looks like um, less than 5 million old same as Doc Octopus duping purposes only kind of thing so um, anyway that's just gives you a couple different uh, voices uh, on uh, different thoughts on what people are thinking out there now we jump to the five star feature storm arena not a lot of folks had a lot of input on that one only a hundred votes and 108 votes, but thank you very much for the time for to for who took for, to the people who took the time to vote, and and you can see here that again no clean majority kind of broken out all over the place, uh, with less than 16 million uh, being the highest, but not a extreme again not a, a big difference between any of the options. Um, Frank Scheibel took the time to say, hey, just an old champ. That's why he thinks he, uh, she's going to go less than 16 million. But anyway, based off of the input from everybody, and again, thank you very much for those who took the time to vote, and especially those who took the time to go into the comment section and, and uh, put a little context behind your vote. Um, as you can tell, going through this process, I definitely take your input and use it to uh, ultimately um, shape my uh, in predictions. Um, but taking a look at uh, everybody's input as well as uh, those past results, these are the numbers I come up for round one. And again, the thing that I, I you know, looked from a past track record was really just that Hella and Jane Foster arena. So there's, again, it's not statistically significant to ba based on what's going to happen next just after one arena. But um, anything, if we're closer to feel good about it, would probably be that uh, Dr. Octopus because we've seen this a lot with mid-interest champs. But uh, we go with what we can and, and uh, make any adjustments as we go along as we get more results to based off the, the trend analysis again. Against. But you can see with the four or five star feature uh, storm, I think she'll go for 18 million. Um, the four star feature, I think she'll go for 5.3. Dr. Octopus around 3.7, just a tad bit higher than Ella, Hella, who went for 3.5. And I think uh, the storm cutoff for the three-star feature right around 680,000. So those are, the, again, these are where I think the cutoffs will be for the, and this is for the veterans bracket. Here are my thoughts on where I actually think the, from a grind target. So the, the cutoff is where I think it's going to end up. So you always, I always, you know, suggest that people buff it a little bit just in case there are some exceptions. And again, there could be all kinds of exceptions since we don't have a lot of good trends to look at here. We just got one pass result really for uh, the, the new structure. Um, but but anyway, you can see if you want to feel safe to get Storm, go to 19 million for the five star feature. For the four star feature, go to 5.8 million. If you're interested and really want to lock down and feel secure about your grinding for Dr. Octopus, I'd go to 4 million and maybe even 4.1 million. And lastly, with the three star Storm, um, go to 710,000 to be sure. And again, this is for, or I should say, these gr uh, grind targets are for the veterans bracket. When I think about the um, beginner and intermediate bracket, again, there's just not a, either, there's hardly any data. Even 
even about recent results to kind of base things off of here. So this just gives you the, these ranges are very rough. If the other ones are rough, these are like super rough based off of my own personal experience. But that was a couple months ago, and you know the, these arenas are very volatile because people are coming in and out all the time. So anyway, take these with a grain of salt. Just kind of give you a rough range to, th to think about um, as you're grinding in these arenas. But anyway, for the three star feature, around 240, 250,000. For the four star basic, and again, then the beginner's bracket, uh, 1.2 million. And for the four star feature, 1.2 million. Now, jumping to the intermediate bracket, meaning your account's been open for 31 to 60 days, the three star feature, you should be able to snap or snap, snag. Uh, storm for around 450 to 550,000, somewhere in between there. The four star basic around 1.1 million, and the four star feature around, and it says 1.8, but that's probably closer to almost like a 1.1 as well. But anyway, these are just really rough ranges. If you are a person that are, are uh, competing, or I should say grinding in one of these arenas, I really love to hear what you ended up getting at the end, what your number was, uh, what your, you know, the actual, your point accumulation, as well as what uh, rank reward you received. That, that would be great to, to hear. Throw it down in the comment section of this video, or maybe my round two video, and I'll definitely take that into account for future arenas. But anyway, these are my thoughts for all of the different arenas. Um, would love to hear your opinion or any questions you have. Throw them down in the comment section. We can talk about them there. And if you like this video, we really appreciate you clicking that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other videos I have on the channel, we really appreciate it. Subscribe. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.